So for me, there's uh, two, one of which I won't spend too much time on because you mentioned it in your book where uh, I basically got fucking thrown out of the boat out at San Clemente Island. Which is a good phase. story. I mean, you should tell that story. And, and please give me credit for saying we should have waited a couple sets. Yeah, so, you know, we're, we're out at San Clemente Island. You know, the light is kind of at the end of the tunnel. Um, Third phase. You know, we're, we're starting to do our FTXs, so, you know, it's, it's kind of like we're putting it all together and you kind of feel like you're actually doing something, even though looking back on it, it's fucking nothing, but, but... Uh, and FTX stands for final training exercise. So we're in the last part of Bud's training, doing our pseudo real mission ops. And uh, so we're out, we're, we're out in the ocean out at San Clemente Island in a, in a Zodiac, uh, which is bigger than the inflatable boats. Uh, and it's supposed to have a motor on it, but in buds you don't get a fucking motor. You get motor. to yeah, paddle it. So, paddles, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's you know we're paddling about this big eight heavy, horsepower. Yeah, yeah. about a fucking quarter <laughs> horsepower. And uh, so anyway, we're out. The the surf's fucking huge. It's early February, and uh, and we you know each each uh, squad has a lane grader. Uh, which is one of the instructors that goes with you and, and kind of evaluates, takes notes, and just you know kind of shadows you and, and observes the entire process, and then debriefs you at the end of how you how you fucked up because nobody does it right. And uh, so the surf's huge, and we're we're trying to land this boat uh, on the on the shore, and there's no good fucking place to come in. Uh, as we're paddling uh, back towards Grad Beach, we get a huge fucking hole in the boat in the bottom of the boat. We start taking on water. So we're like, fuck, we gotta, we gotta bring this boat in now. The problem was, is we were right out. We got signaled. I remembered it like we got signaled. We got, yeah, we got signaled because we had taken about four hours to move 30 yards. Yeah. Because we had a hole in the boat. So we got like semen fuck job with a canteen <laughs> cup, like trying to, you know, bail water out of the Zodiac and it's not working. And the Glen is like, hey, what are these assholes taking so long? Yeah, just so bring finally, it in. So like, finally he just says, fucking bring it in. And we're like, shit, you know, we're right on the, on the rocks. It just got off of rocks, these jagged cliffs and boulders and shit, and there's sets of waves just pounding. High me. surf. Yeah, it's just crazy. And so, and so uh, our OIC is like, fuck it, we're, we're bringing it in. So we try getting in, we try timing the sets. Well, Webb's like, yeah. you know, dude, don't fucking go now. We got to hold, you know, wait till there's a break. Fuck it, he's, he's giving yeah. us the, the chem light yeah, buzzsaw. Yeah, like, there's the waves coming sets. Yeah. Wait for the set, then we paddle like hell to make it in. Yeah. Like, and he's freaking out in the boat, like, no, 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 we gotta get in, or we're gonna get yelled our, at. Our lane graders gotta. Get and I'm like, anyway. oh, this isn't gonna end well yeah. again, so I like to take a double wrap yeah. on the. So my dumb ass. <laughs> yeah. like, well, so I know it's about to happen. It's right? coming. Yeah, it's so, coming. So, oh, shit. Yeah, so our, our instructor is uh, is giving us. He's got a red chem light on a on a piece of uh, 550 cord spinning in a buzz saw, which means get the fuck in right now. It's like the emergency. Bring your ass in right now. So. Our OICs, or our squad leaders, like, fuck it, we're going in right now. And everybody's like, fuck. So we get uh, almost all the way in. We get pretty close. We're just getting ass raped by these waves. And uh, all of a sudden, there's a little bit of calm. The boat gets turned to the fucking side. This huge wave comes in and knocks <laughs> my 147-pound ass right out of the boat. Uh, and and it, basically, the, the general, you know, the, the one rule of, of rock portage is never get between the wave and the boat, ever, under any circumstance. Well, I got thrown out on the shore side. Uh, next thing you know, the, the boat basically just fucking runs me over. Everybody else is bailed out. Except for one guy. Except for me. No, no. Well, I, yeah. I was the only guy left in the boat. Yeah, but so, <laughs> yeah. I knew it was coming, man. I took the double wrap. Yeah, every, everybody yeah. else is three shots. Everyone's gone. Down. I was like, yeah. all right, I'm yeah. good. So I, I, I bail off the side. All of a sudden, this monster fucking wave comes in and just fucking runs me over, basically. And, and what had happened is I was underneath the boat, and it like cheese gratered me. Uh, up against the rocks, and I remember thinking, like, well, fuck, this is it. Like, I'm laying, un like, six feet under the water, the boat's on top of me, pinning me down on the rocks, it's pitch fucking black. I remember standing on the floorboards and, and getting, like, bumped yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, what soft the fuck is that? Yeah, like, I'm trying to I'm like, something's under there, and I jump out of the boat, and I push off the boat. Yeah. And, and then fucking, yeah, I, I managed to pop up, and, uh, I mean, at that and, point. And, like, his head came up, like, 
yeah. like out of the dark hole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, it was. I was yeah. like, that was you under there? Like, that's crazy, man. Bumping me out. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, like, I was like, holy shit. Yeah, I mean, it made pool comp seem like a fucking walk in the park, you know? Like, I'm, I'm it was like, like this <laughs> like, face, yeah. eyes this big. Like, he yeah. thought he was done for. I yeah. could tell. On the look on your face, you yep. thought you were going to die. Like, no, I did. I, you know, I was night. fucking 18 years old. Oh, he could. I, mean, I was 18 years old, and I was like, I, I remember. Well, that's uh, how the death and the seal buds training is called a nonverbal drop on request. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Non-verbal nonverbal DOR. Yeah. It's like, hey, he, quit. Hey, he fucking yeah. died. He doesn't want to be here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when yeah. I was just, uh, or, or <laughs> when you pass out, too, like we had a pool comp in this, you yeah. see the pass out. This is, and I had some fucking students coming back and say, hey, so did Instructor Drago, did I made it? Did I pass the test? I didn't come out. I passed out. I say, no, motherfucker. I seen you fucking sleeping and taking a nap on the job. You don't fucking sleep on the job. If you pass out laying on the side of the fucking swimming pool, passed out, that's a fucking sleeping on the job. No, you didn't pass. Go back again. Yeah, so, he was quitting, pussy. Yeah, so yeah. I, I mean, I do remember think there there was a point at which like everything was calm, like it was right between uh, you know there was a break in the sets, but I was pinned under there, and I remember thinking there, the boat wasn't moving really at all. I said I was in the boat trying yeah. to figure out. Okay, the weapons are got, good. We're yeah. clipped in. I got, I got webs. Out. I'm not going to get in trouble for that. And I'm like, where's everybody else? Yeah. And uh, yeah, and I mean, I just remember thinking I was like, well, fuck, I guess this is it. I'm gonna die. You know, like that's all she wrote. Like I couldn't move. And, uh, so All I remember, dude, and I said, you no, know, I put it in the book and maybe over exaggerated, but you were, you did say, you're like, I should have fucking joined the Rangers, man. Like, I should have joined the Rangers. Like, you said, like, over and over again, like, fuck this, yeah, fuck I, this stuff. Yeah, man. I, I, I gotta tell you, if there's one thing I, I don't remember ever saying at Buds, it's that. that but, you know, I'm telling you, I remember having the conversation with you yeah. at the. At, at the those little, little rinse area where you rinse all your gear off, you were like, it shook you up, man. I, I mean, I, I, like you I, sucked it up and got through it, but it. Yeah, I mean, I guess I, I don't remember it being that that traumatizing. What I, what I will say is that, so we, we get that unfucked. We get on the on the uh, on the beach, and uh, our OIC is like, you know, hey, Rutland's fucked up, and he reports that to the lane grader. So this fucking guy, I'm not going to mention his name. I, I ended up being an instructor with him years later, and I remember busting his balls about. I was like, "Mother, you were the motherfucker." He was like, "You remember?" He's like, "That was you." <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, you fucking prick." I was like, "What did he say?" I, I was like, "Do you do you remember that?" My head's fucking gashed open, and you bust out a goddamn red lens flashlight to see if I'm bleeding. You're like, no, you're good, bro. Like, slap, like, slap me on the ass. Like, good game. Fucking get back to work. Like, you my can't head, see blood under a red lens flashlight? Yeah, my head's fucking gashed open. There's blood all over the place. Like, oh, you're good. His first, his first question was like, hey, real lens fucked up. He's like, are the weapons okay? Oh, yeah, I remember that. And that's the first thing I checked. Yeah, he, he didn't give a fuck. He's like, I don't give a fuck about his head. He's like, you guys got all your weapons? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, and so uh, so that yeah that was uh, that was my fucking moment. But the the one other one that I want to bring up quick is uh, which is like hydrate. Are you hydrated? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna go. Yeah. Yeah. Is in second phase. You need some Motrin. <laughs> in uh, in second phase, the exact same instructor caught me dipping at at lunchtime, the same fucking spot, the same time of day, like walking out of the pit bathroom during lunch. The first time he looks at me, he's like, are you shit? Are you fucking, he's like, you got a dip in your mouth? I said, yeah. <laughs> he's like, and you, you guys remember back then before they had the retaining wall unfucked, there was always like this nasty puddle of stagnant ass water that just sat there and was nasty. He's like, roll in that motherfucker, rinse your mouth out and swallow that dip with that fucking water, rinse it down. <laughs> oh I was like, motherfuck. Oh, so, so I go and do that. That's fun by my, my son. <laughs> I'm, I'm like dry heaving and gagging and he's like, you dumb fuck. He's like, what are you thinking? And he's just laughing. The Obviously, very, yeah, you're it, still made, it made a huge, so, impact. Yeah, huge impact. The, the very yeah. next fucking day, I'm walking out of the bathroom as he's walking in, and now like he looks at me and I look at him and I'm just I close my eyes. I'm like, suck. And he looks at me. He's like, you have got to be shitting me. He's like, you're fucking dipping again. <laughs> so he makes me take the whole fucking can, put it in my mouth, get in the fucking puddle. You know, r rinse it, swallow it, like with this nasty fucking water. I was like, holy fucking Christ. Yeah, yeah I mean. God, that's shit. That's shit. <laughs>